so Thank much, you buddy. So much. Loving your videos, man. I mean, they, they you get the highlights, you put them all together, you bring more people to Smash, and... And you also give people five dollars randomly, so thank you. We, we appreciate that, buddy. All right, Pokemon Stadium is the pick. Palutena versus Rob. I would assume that Palutena wins this matchup because there is a little bit of a stigma about Palutena, and that it, uh, not a stigma about Palutena specifically, but you know, I mean, well, actually, yeah, about her specifically. Never mind. In that she does well against heavies because yeah. they're just so big. You know, it's so easier for her to be able to land the neutral air, and it doesn't even matter like what part of the neutral air it is. You know, she'll be able to get that damage set up into combos, and on this stage as well. You know, if she just gets like the falling first couple of hits of neutral air. That's going to sink uh, the raw player onto the platform, you know, where she's just going to be able to jump up and get another neutral air and then just start the cycle all over again. That and she also has a reflector. And yeah. Rob is kind of a completely projectile based character. So. But, yeah, but another important thing about this matchup is the way Rob has to recover around Palutena. Like, if he goes high, Ooh. Ooh, he could eat like a nair. A Falcon stomp. He could eat like a back air, up air. And if he goes low, Palutena can nair or down air him. Yeah, see, like. It's hard for Rob to get around that. Yeah, he's just got to find some way towards ledge. I mean, and the back there are going to be able to do it. Yeah. Rob, though, has definitely much more uh, recovery options in this game than he does in the last one. Mm -hmm. For a couple of reasons specifically. The air dodging mechanic helps him out a lot because now he can, like, directional air dodge out of his upbeat and then just drift back and forth back towards the ledge or just mix that up in any way he chooses to. And on top of that, he also can uh, now double jump out of his upbeat. He used to not be able to do that. The second he oh. did his, the second he did his uppy in the last game, he couldn't jump anymore. He had to commit to just using the uppy, which made his recovery more linear than you would think, uh, more linear than it really should have been in that game. And now Rob has plenty more ways to recover, but a lot of that doesn't really matter against Palutena, like you said, because she could just launch the explosive flame off stage, do a falling neutral air, just whatever the situation calls for. Palutena can pretty much answer oh, that as he frozen. tries to go for yeah. the ledge cancel. Wow, unfortunately not getting it. The spacing just a little bit off. Oh, he tried to pick up the gyro. Yeah, it's a little hard. And, oh, he just F smashes the gyro. Let's get out of here. Down throw to a bear. What did gyro ever do to you? Other than, like, ledge trap you in the previous game. There's a falling there. I mean, at the very least, Rob will be able to live that for a long oh, time. Oh, that was such a smart up smash to yeah. catch the air dodge. And I think that's honestly where Palutena excels in his matchup, is off stage, being able to abuse Rob with, like, Nair and, like, other stuff. I mean, I don't think it's that much, uh, I don't think she really suffers on stage for this matchup too much either, you know, just the neutral airs and the neutral, you know. Yeah, you're it's right. Just, it just does so much for her. That on top of the fact that she has a reflector as well. I mean, it is a relatively slow reflector, so, you know, most Robs will be able to shield in time depending on how hard they throw the gyro, so it's really up to the Rob player to know how hard they should throw that uh, depending on the circumstance. It's rough, though, for Rob, especially if the Palutena is consistent oh. in parrying, and that just barely didn't kill. Wait, isn't that, like, a, a new thing where if you get, like, the the forward pivot cancel down tilt, it combos in the, like, up smash or something? Up smash? The fo I'm sorry, the forward pivot what? Like, if you do one down tilt, and then you run and do the pivot cancel down tilt, but you make sure it still faces forward, you, like, slide a little bit, and you can combo the second down tilt in, like, a, in, like, a smash attack. I'm not completely sure. I think sure. that's like a new thing people just found out recently. But I think Dill was trying to do that. Can't say that I'm aware. Let's see, Rob just sinking down. Baiting him with the jet hammer oh. just a little bit, trying to get Frozen to approach, but he's not going to do it, and now all the stage control is his. Ooh, you don't want to press too many buttons off stage, not without the stock. You don't want to get dared. Yeah, when it comes to like, uh, Palutena going down there for the nair. Really, who, who's going to bite first? Oh, I love that! Oh, man, the gyro into the explosive flame right there. Such good usage of his uh, the own uh, of Rob's own item right there. And this may hit. not do it. No, yeah, not yet. Rob's heavy, heavy lad. And I think Frozen's going to elect to stay on stage here. He doesn't want to risk anything. Oh, that trading nair right there was super important for Rob. Yeah. He would have died. Oh, no. Is, that, is there enough rage? Oh, no, not just enough, not just yet. That was actually really, really scary for Frozen. Yeah. He has but he has max rage, so I didn't know if he was going to be able to get the confirm there. Like most heavies, Rob does have really strong smash attacks. And that's, yeah, that that's going to do that it. Yeah. Doubt. His DI was good, too. You see how he went all the way to the top blast zone? All the way to the top left corner? Too bad for you. But it's not going to matter at that percent. Too bad for you. Palutena says to Rob. Rob says, does not compute. Because he's a robot. Town and City is the ban.
Oh, Yeet Smash donated what? $100? Oh. Whoa, Whoa, that's crazy. You're broken, dude. Thank you very much. Yeet wow. Smash $100. Yo, are you going to put that in one of your own compilations? <laughs> going to be yo, top, top, yo, top, <laughs> top 10, 10 on stream donations? Top 10 Yeet Smash Just trying donations. to get a little limelight yourself, my guy. I see you. I see you, Yeet. Top 10 Yeet Smash donation. That would be a very expensive video to make. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> <laughs> every every placement on the list would be more and more expensive. Yeah, but Yeet, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. We honestly, that's just that's super generous, uh, ge generous, yeah. generous of you. Thank you. We hope we, we're hoping you're enjoying the show. And here we go, running it off to Pokemon Stadium again. A wonderful stage for Palutena. It gives her all the space in the world to be able to set up her, uh, force her advantage and set up her neutral air combos. But Rob as well, plenty of space to be able to just play his RTS, play the projectile game. Because if Rob plays his cards right, if he can still overwhelm Palutena if he gets up close enough and just lands the gyro combos when he has to. But the thing is, though, she has a reflector and also just really good buttons. Did he, yo, yo he, he Z-dropped it, he Z dropped it, it yo, to be able to get the Nair. Wow. That's actually really good. Yeah. Straight up saying anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. Because that's what Rob does. Yeah, Rob had that exact same combo. Exactly. All right, explosive flame forcing him to go low. And air dodging past is Dill. Directional air dodging is huge for Rob. And you're going to see another one? Not staying off stage this time. F tilt, perhaps? Yes, they called it from a mile away. Good reach. Uh, I, know, I know, dude. I'm such a good commentator. That's a lock! Oh, wow, that, never mind. He, he didn't really go very far from that. Yeah, Rob's forward smash is actually not very strong. Huh. I'm going to be completely honest. It's not one of his better smash attacks. Up smash, on the other hand, definitely something else. This should be a down smash. He's going to go for the... Oh, actually, just an up tilt right there. I thought he was just going to jump and get the uh, up air. Mayhaps he thought that uh, Frozen was just going to, like, mash down air or something, like a really quick aerial to get, get him off of him after he jumped, which could have potentially set him into something bad if he didn't oh, attack. Wow. And I think he recognized that situation right there. So the, the not gyro there was... Now Palutena is hit of the reflector. So when uh, Dill landed on it with forward air, it hit him and sent him into the nair. But that down smash is going to take uh, the first stock from Frozen. Yeah, you want to talk about some good smash attacks. Rob has a couple of them. His up smash is very potent, but down smash has such good range and such good kill power. And now with smash attacks being able to be done instantly out of a dash, that is definitely a kill option for Rob now. Run up, down smash, as we just saw right there. Ooh. My man didn't even oh, need to wow. parry that, but he you did. see that ledge cancel over the laser, forward air, forward air him in the face. Yeah, I got to say, Frozen has better ledge canceling like, and more consistent ledge canceling than literally any Palutena I've seen. Yeah, that was a very smart use of the ledge canceling. Because he just he doesn't even do it to style either. He does it when it's optimal, which yeah. is crazy, you know? It's hard to do that in situations where it's really optimal, where it's going to work, but he's just so consistently doing it every time. And there we go, yeah. two neutral airs into each other. All aboard the Nair train. Vroom, vroom. Train to go room. I'm drunk. <laughs> In a church? No, no it was, what are you talking about? Oh, I actually like that right there. He recognized the down tilt was coming out, so he decided to just like jump above it with the uh, neutral B. I think it was kind of a weird option, and he could have gotten punished for it, but I mean, Frozen oh, didn't again. expect it, and it didn't work. So Another sick ledge cancel coming out from Frozen. Here we go, the rising forward air off of the ledge. Such a quick option. Ooh, oh, the call hey, out. Yo, the call all right, out. All right. yo, you saw the empty hop from before. He, he, he wasn't going for any up airs. So many other Robs would have just gone for an up air there. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good option. But, you know, he think he recognized that um, I think he recognized that Frozen was looking for that and was going to, like, potentially, like, falling neutral air or something. And instead, oh, yo, the side oh, I can't the even get my thoughts him. out. You know, Dill just keeps doing the thing. Wow. That was a really good option right there, actually covering the tech roll. Two bases right there off of the double down tilt. It's so scary when Rob's just run up and down tilt like that. And I think that's just one of the reasons that, you know, like, Dill likes this character so much. You know? Because he just runs up and down tilts out of a dash. Like Diddy called. Like Diddy used to do. Yeah. And that explosive flame is going to do it. Yeah. Rob is a heavy, heavy lad, but no percent that high is going to be able to do it on, out of the, that percent. But Palutena with her comeback factor. Explosive flame to the neutral air. To the up air. Look at that damage already. Yeah, 43%. Off of three hits. Crazy. Yeah. Palutena's damage output is absolutely bonkers. Yeah. And, like, her damage output was, like, like off a single hit, she didn't get much in the last game, but the fact that she got consistent, like, throw follow-up was, like, really good for her overall damage output. Oh, my god. Flaming it back. Flaming the gyro. 
Not grabbing it, actually. He's just letting it rock. Oh, he's trying to go for a spike. Microspace and landing right oh, on the ledge right be, there, but the back yeah, air. That back air is super strong. It, it can be kind of tempting to just jump up there and hit Rob. Such a big target. You want to hit him with forward air, like, forward air and air. But, like, you have to respect, like, his options that can kill you. Like yeah. That. Back air is definitely a very potent kill option right there. And a very strong lasting hitbox as well. It stays out for quite some time. So it can be used to cover options, used to recover, used as a uh, get off me move. Actually, not a get off me move. Never mind. Uh, there, there was something else I was going to say, but I forgot. Either way, Rob's back air. Definitely quite a good move, as you saw right there. Able to kill Frozen right there and win that game two for Dill. And he's thinking about his ban right here. Not exactly sure what he's going to do. Smashville is the okay. pick. I kind of like that ban coming out from. Um from Dill. And why is that, Eric Gordon? Uh, mainly because, like, Rob, you still kind of want to, like, have that space to play the, the zoning game, you know what I mean? And on Smash Bros, you really can't do that. Plus, more likely your hits are going to send you off stage because the stage is narrower mm -hmm. than the other stages. So, like, a combo from, like, the right side of Battlefield going left won't send you off stage, but it might on Smash Bros. And on top of that, the stage is quite small as well, you know, less room for a big boy like Rob to be able to get around that big neutral air. Palutena's. Battlefield is the pick instead, though. Ooh. Ooh! Teleporting up. I recognize the situation immediately. Not good. No two frames here. Oh, that's an interesting up air coming out right there. I think he tried to reset the combo with the falling up air right there instead of just continuing uh, it with another neutral air or two. My man Frozen said he wants big damage. Fortunately for him, it's not going to work out, but he already... No, he lost the lead by 1%. Never mind. Oh, he just runs up and does right it. There. Yeah. That's he, how you beat Explosive Flame. If, oh, yo, I, my man tried to do some cheesy stuff, yeah, and now, now he, put he is in a, a pretty bad, bad place. And air dodging at just the right time off his dill to avoid the down air. Down throw to Bear. Yep, not going to do it against Rob, though. He is way too heavy of a lad, and Battlefield way too big of a stage. That was a sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't mean a hiccup there. First stock going to uh, Frozen. What? You're nuts. You're extremely You're nuts. You're nuts. Frozen is nuts. All right, I think Dill actually even smirked himself a little bit for that one. Seriously, that's what I'm saying before. I really have not seen any Palutena, at least any Palutena in the area, utilize uh, flow cancels the way that Dil, uh, that Dil, the way that Frozen does. Yeah. It's just remarkable. It's, he only and he only does it in situations where it works too. Is that yeah, smash honestly, out of shield? Yeah, yeah. It's not like stock. he just like, hey, look at my tech. I'm gonna try and get a highlight reel because I'm on stream and he just spams it. No, he, he uses <laughs> it intelligently. Honestly, yeah. That's the difference between a, a Frozen and an Intunist. <laughs> is that when you try to do something cool, it works. When you're frozen. He tries to frame trap him with the explosive flame again, and he does, forcing him to air dodge, parrying the uh, parrying the gyro oh, for no reason. He no, he's good. He can air dodge up, and now he's dead. Yeah, he ran. I'm just this misfacing from Dill right there, and just not realizing the situation completely. And it's going to cost him a stock, and here we go. The Z drop again. Oh, oh my goodness. Frozen is actually crazy with the gyro. He honestly is. He's utilizing... Bro, he's uh, dare, gotten, I, dare I say, he's utilizing the gyro in these combos better than Dill is. A little bit. I mean, we've seen him do, like, G-drop Nair twice in a combo. I haven't seen Dill do that once a set. Mm, yeah, and Dill going for the down throw right there. Way too low for percent to do that. That's an instant mash out coming out from uh, coming out from Frozen. You don't want to be doing the down throw with Rob too early because you don't want to stale it, and uh, you're going to be able to mash out at relatively early percents. It's pretty much best used just for, like, higher percents or for the kill confirm and down throw off smash at, like, crazy higher percents. Dill, of course, you know, recognizing Frozen was at that weird percent, though, not knowing which one to get. Back air covering the platform right oh. there, just catching him yeah. out of the teleport, but not going to be able to do anything off of it. And this should be, uh, oh, no, I think it's oh, just... Another grab release. I think it's just mashing right... No, not mashing. I think it's just, like, uh, pummeling right now to be able to get the damage because he knows he's not going to be able to get anything off of a throw. Yeah, but, like, even you with You just throw, forward throw or back throw off stage. Yeah, you, you, know? you still get position, so exactly. I think it would be... I still think the throw would be... Better. And forward smash. Yeah, another bad explosive flame coming out from Frozen. Yeah. I think all of Rob's throws are actually useful in this game. Up throw for like a kill throw and for the combo throw, forward and back throw to get him off stage when like down neither throw. forward and then when neither up or down throw is gonna work, and then yeah. down throw for the kill confirm. Yeah. If anything, he might even be able to get more damage off of a forward throw into a neutral B, but I digress. Frozen. 
up, up very high in percent in this game. No percent on his last stock right now. 123.1 on uh, Dill's final one. Ooh, trying to cover a tech roll in with the uh, long-lasting uh, hitbox that is the Palutena's down tilt. Now, I like how Fro uh, Frozen got the grab, but he didn't go for back throw there because he knew it wasn't going to kill, so he didn't want to stale it out. Oh, here oh. we go. Oh, oh and the, the sandwich gyro. combo from the gyro. No pun intended. <laughs> I get it, gyro. Okay. Seriously, no pun intended. I didn't mean to do that, but that's going to do it. You want to talk about what people mean to do. Uh, my man Frozen meant to do that falling neutral air, and he meant to win game number three against Dill. Yeah, that drop zone there, extremely useful in this matchup. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's extremely useful in a lot of matchups. But this one especially, considering, you know, how, um, what am I going to say here, how vulnerable Rob's recovery can be to characters with strong offstage presences. Presences. Presence. Presence. And we're going back to stadium. Christmas. And same characters. No switches, no Deddy Kangs here. Here we go. Game number four, Palutena versus Rob. Frozen versus Dill. Up 2-1 over his man, Dill. The Battle of the House of 3K. Let's get into it. All right. Trying to get some up, uh, up tilt confirmations right there. Nothing coming out for Dill right there. I actually like that explosive frame, uh, flame right there. You know, explosive flame in neutral is, especially when it's like raw and neutral, you know, like when somebody yeah, just does it's, it without unprovoked, it's, it's only, not that good. It's only useful, I feel like, in the, these campier mat matchups, where like you're both already going to be sitting back. Yeah. Against like someone like Fox or Chrom, like they're just going to run in and hit you. With someone like maybe Rob or Snake, where they're already chilling back, trying to throw things at you, it, it, it has its uses. He caught like a rollback from the, uh, the gyro hit right there, though. He knew he was going to roll back there. Trying to down throw bear, the percent is not quite there. Both these guys just spamming their safe aerials, trying to get something started. Oh, Oy! that was so cool. Yeah, the gyro setup, man. Gyro Delicious. Shield, and it should be an up. No, he's going for up tilt there instead. I think Dill knows something that I don't. Well, nice for to get off the ledge, realizing that uh, Frozen overextended and gave up the stage. Oh, that was that looked close. I'm trying to go. Well, did you? Yeah, you I, have, I have a teleport recovery. I can just go right by. The no, gyro. not that. The fact that Dill like B reversed mid air in order to reacting to that teleport on stage. I actually did not notice that. Thank you for pointing that out to me. Yeah, Rob definitely turned around. So that's more than just like holding in. Neither of these players taking a stock yet, about two minutes into the match. Or three, if it was eight minutes, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Explosive flame it off. Both these guys are crazy oh high percent. I just noticed that Frozen's at 176. That's yeah. not usually the percent you see Palutena living. Yeah, you know, one of her flaws as a character oh is that goodness. she is kind of light. So what happened was is that uh, Dill threw the gyro and it got hit by the explosive flame and knocked up in the air. And then it came back down and it hit Frozen. Oh, I think Down tilt, almost killing. Yeah. Actually, it did kill. Wasn't able to make it back. Yeah, he didn't have it. He ledge jump. He did a jump from ledge, so that uh, like he didn't have a double jump after the down tilt. He died. Yeah. Trying to get some gyro combo started of his own, but the uh, uh, approaching neutral air gonna be able to take that stock, and all of a sudden we are even once again. Right, falling neutral air. Jabbing instead. I think he meant to grab right there, but somehow got a jab out of it. Or maybe he just wanted to get like a rapid jab and set up into a set up into an offstage mix-up or something. He, however, Frozen was not able to get anything off of it, and Dill is still sitting pretty in the advantage because of it. <laughs> neutral air gonna toss him off. Looking for another one. Trying to fair him off, nair him off. Just put those hitboxes out towards Rob ex uh, Rob's exploitable uh aerial presence, to say the least, you know. One of Rob's struggles as a character is that if your character has good hitboxes like Palutena does, he can struggle to land, because his landing options can be a little linear, because a lot of Rob's love to land with Nair, and not too much else. So unless he mixes up with, like, by, like, uh, stalling with a down air or something, oh not much goodness. he can do is the four down tilt string, almost putting Frozen a little too low with that air dodge. Literally just es escorting him to the ledge. Honestly, yeah. 
That was Nesco. It's like, right this way, miss. Right yeah. this way. Right this way. <laughs> just, pointing, just pointing exactly where she's going to go. Right this way. This should be a down throw into an up smash. I don't think he's going to be able to mash out. But I think the uh, up smash percent was a little bit higher. And I think Doe recognized that, actually. Just going for the up air instead, which also still works in this game yeah. at that percent. Now, I like this kind of adaptation coming out from Doe. Like, he, he now is in the lead. I think he's playing more of his game where he's able to keep Palutena out. Like, yeah, he's getting hit here and there, but, like, he's using Rob's weight to his advantage. And, like, he's okay with taking these hits as long as he doesn't die. Exactly. But he might not be okay taking that hit. Oh, no, he's fine. Uh, yeah. Never mind. He's not fine. Because that stock is going to do it. I mean, you saw him roll away earlier in between the neutral air. He's playing a little bit more of a wall-out game against Frozen right now. Palutena is one of those characters that, you know, once you let her in, you know, she's just going to take it at 50 so easily. And you just don't want that to happen. So this character has projectiles. He just wants to, like, put up a wall, make sure Palutena can't get in. And see what he can do with that. But so far, I mean, it looks like it's not working out too well for him anymore because uh, Frozen is able to take this lead. Missing a ledge cancel for the first time in the set, I think. All right, covering the options on the platform, nearing towards the left, and then uh, dash attacking towards the right to cover the tech roll. Oh, the explosive plane coming in clutch and uh, stopping the gyro. Yeah, that, that, that thing definitely overheats the gyro sandwich for sure. You know, it's just unedible at this point. You're going to have to, like, sue Subway to be able to get a good reimbursement. Ooh, I actually like the bait right there. I mean, like, what he was trying to do at least. Just, like, you know, like, mashing with the uppy a little bit, you know, just trying to, like, get him to come uh, forward, come off stage, and then just rising with the neutral air and then continuing to do it again. Oh. Yeah, but he's back on the ledge right now. Finds his way back on stage, recharging that gasoline. Oh, that grab would have been huge. Now, I will say, uh, if Fro while Frozen has the percent lead, if Dill can get like some sort of crazy combo into a side B off stage, I think Palutena might die. Yeah. If he's able to, a side B by the ledge will absolutely kill. Actually, not by the ledge, but off stage will kill. A couple more percent for the ledge, I would assume. Yeah, that's probably what Dill might be looking for right now. And it's good because he hasn't really, he's gotten like one kill like the entire set, but... Doesn't yeah, matter. But the back air is going to be able to do it right there. Frozen taking it 2-3-1 uh, over Dill. Advancing further into the loser's bracket. Let's take a look at this final stock yet again. Frozen yeah. staying away from him, keeping that distance away from Rob, mm -hmm. finding, uh, his, uh, finding his kill.